And uh, prior to running localization at Notion, I also led the localization teams at uh, Lyft, the ride sharing platform, and the blogging platform Medium, and a number of other startups. Um, my uh, kind of niche, I guess, is that I go into startups and growth companies when they're just really starting to build out a localization function and team and help them get systems and vendors in place and all that. Uh, most companies have almost no exposure to localization unless the founders happen to be um, um, you know, from a region where many languages are spoken, and that's often not the case, at least in the U.S., um, so what, what I'm here to talk about is the, the distribution of work between in-house resources and outside vendors. Uh, so one of the things we've been doing at Notion is really leaning into, um, you know, leveraging our own user community as part of our translation team. Um, so we're fortunate in that we have a very uh, large and active user community, and we have a lot of consultants who, you know, built businesses around helping people set up uh, Notion sites. And um, a lot of those people have background as linguists or as, as marketing copywriters. So um, we made a decision in the past few months um, to really, instead of leaning first on outside translation vendors, um, building up our own translation team and, and using vendors as kind of a backstop, you know, we, we have too much work to do. Um, and, and we've been very happy with the results because these are people who know our product better than anybody. And in many cases, they know the product better than we do. And so they really understand a lot of the terminology and you know just you know the language we use around the product, whereas an outside vendor would, is always going to struggle with that. They're never going to they'll they'll do good work, but they'll never really understand your product like you know as somebody who's virtually an employee would 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 know. Um, the one caveat I would add about that is that it works. You, you kind of need two things for that to work well. One is you you need an active user community who's you know, really cares about the product. Um, if it's like a business to business accounting software or something, you'll probably have a hard time finding those people. Um, and the other thing is that if the volume of work is, you know, overwhelming, it, you know, doesn't scale. Um, in our case, we have a couple hundred thousand words worth of content we need to manage in each language. And, you know, that's, that's something a small team can handle. And actually vendors in that case, in many cases, just aren't that interested because there's not that much work for them. Uh, and that's the other that was the other re thing that drove us to this is that we were finding vendors are just, I mean, th there are other companies that do millions of words a month and, you know, that's, that's where they're going to, you know, focus. So um, that's my two cents and looking forward to Q and A and discussion that follows.